Hello there. I'm going to do a review today on a can opener that I received as a gift. Um, I would never think to buy myself such a can opener. Um, I received it uh, in a package I got from my sister for my birthday about um, two months ago now. Um, the primary present um, was a, a shirt, a, fl a flannel cotton shirt, a very high quality one, from the best made company, as I often um, spout on about them. Um, she saw fit to go on their site and choose me a couple of things and um, the shirt was the main present and these little can openers which I later looked up um, to sell for about I think $16 each. Um, this is a Japanese style of can opener. Um, it's called a, a Gangi Kankiri. Um, Kankiri just meaning the Japanese word for can opener and uh, Gangi being the brand there. Uh, it's a very simple device. Uh, it's two pieces. Uh, it's got a quite formidable looking uh, blade there which um, that's your primary can opening uh, apparatus. So the the lip of the can catches on is very slight, very small, um, very small amounts of lead I've given the machining of this product really because the can lip sits on that thing, and then as you you hold it like this vertical to the can, and then you drive down with um, this little bit here where my pinky is, staying uh, well hidden onto the well held onto the loop of the can. And um, then you just drive the blade through, and the blade is very sharp, and um, it does go through the can very well. So why would you get a can open like this? To be honest, I'm not really sure. Um, I guess it looks cool. Um, I guess it's got no moving parts, so if you're going, I guess where I go camping, it's often on sandy riverbanks. Um, you can drop this, and you don't have to worry about going and rinsing it out. Um, obviously, it's not as easy to use as a mechanized winding can opener. Um, but it's definitely a lot stockier than sort of the P38 can openers and the you know the Leatherman can openers that you get on a, on a multi tool as well. So um, it's the same basic concept as say on my Leatherman rebar here. There's sort of the um, the blade there with this holding on and forcing its way in with the um, this beveled blade there. However, it does it a whole lot better because as you often find, uh, the dedicated tool does um, does the role a lot a lot better at the at the sacrifice of um, you know, the portability of having all your tools in one multi-tool. Uh, additionally on the tool I noticed there's a bottle opener, that's quite a robust bottle opener that'll definitely open a, open a beer and then I saw you've got this little upturned lip here and I'm not sure if they're intending it but um, that would make a reasonable, a fairly reasonable pry tool. Um, you could definitely pry and jemmy with that so uh, I, again I, th I think that's just an afterthought, it's probably just a bit more of the design of the of the tool, but it's um, definitely two and perhaps even three functions. So this is the Gangi can opener from the Best Made Company, and I'll open a can with it now. I'll just um, move the move the camera and figure out how I'm going to do an aerial shot of me opening a can with this bad boy. Stand by. Right there. Now this is the first time I've used this can opener, so this could be a complete mess. Um, I'm assuming what you do. So that's held on fairly well there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the trick is to sort of move towards the can. Well, that steel is just falling away like nothing else. Wow, okay. With practice, this is... Pass my little practice hole there. So yeah, with, with practice, this is quite a... Still not anything on the mechanised one, but with practice, this is definitely a um, fairly effective, much more effective way than using a little Swiss Army knife uh, can opener. It really does. Geez, that steel is just sharp, and it's just got exactly the right cut to just pierce right into that, that lid. And there we are. Some evil Coles brand um, Italian tomatoes that apparently they've been buying off of. Um, sunken barges or whatever the big scandal is. At any rate, um, that's definitely a working can opener. It's um, yeah. I mean, if you if it's your bag, if it's your sort of thing, if you're after a bit of a different style of can opener that's probably going to last longer than you, then I can't help but recommend the Ganji Can Carry Can Opener. However, if you don't really find yourself opening a lot of cans and the cans you do open have the ring pull, you probably don't really need it. However, Certainly won't knock someone for getting me a gift like that. It's always cool to have, even just for the sake of a good old YouTube review. 
and that's what, that's exactly what we've done. Have a nice day. See you later.